Hey guys, uh, this is Bill Whaley. I'm with Snacks and Gex, and I just got back from the post office, and I have some Snacks and Gex to unbox. So, never done a video before. I want to go ahead and give a, a, an unboxing a try. Uh, we've got three ball pythons and four geckos. Um, it's a variety of geckos. It's uh, all New Caledonian. Should be one chewy, two gargoyles, and one crusty. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get into it, get these unboxed, and uh, I think we'll start with the ball pythons. But I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera a little closer and get it set up so that we can get a better view of the animals. Okay, we're going to get right into it. This is the first animal. This is a, a ball python, a Mojave cypress from Dark Science Reptiles. Uh, this is a male, and we'll go ahead and get him opened up. Card, sticker. Okay, nice and warm. Okay, little guy. Very pretty. I picked this guy. I've been wanting Cypress uh, in my projects somehow. I didn't want to go crazy. I, um, got a lot of females and not that many males. This guy really stood out to me. I love the solid backstripe uh, and the really reduced pattern. So yeah, really happy with this guy. He looks like he might be 100 grams. And uh, yeah, we'll get them going, get them started. Hopefully we'll get them on some, some rats and get them up to size. So yeah, here's the first guy. Not sure I got a GoPro hooked up. Hopefully it's in view. Mojave Cypress male. And that's from Dark Science Reptiles. Good looking guy. All right, we're gonna unbox the next one. Okay, next up we have, uh, this is from George MD Reptiles. This is a GHI Mojave Hypo, uh, another male. Uh, again, I'm, I've got a lot of females. This I actually got, I have a pastel leopard lesser hypo and uh, female. So I, I want to put this guy to her. Always, you know, ever since GHI came out, I remember when they first came out years and years ago. Uh, and and uh, back then there wasn't a whole lot of dark stuff out. Black pastel, cinnamon, a few other things. And I really liked what GHI did, and especially when they first put it to the Mojave. And we saw that for the first time. Uh, and then just hypo really added a whole nother level to it so here we go he's a little chilly yeah he looks great he's a little chilly so he might he might stay a little balled up He looks fantastic. Good eater. Nice and healthy looking. We'll try to get him out of this ball and uh, get you a better look. Come on, buddy. Show yourself to the world. There we go. Okay, here we go. All out of his little ball. He's looking great. Really pretty silver color. Can't wait to get him up to size. My female's probably four or five hundred grams now that I want to put him to, so we still got a little ways to go. But 
Very pretty snake. Okay, let's get him back. Okay, one more ball python to go. Okay, last one. Uh, last ball python. I'm really excited about this one. Um, it's not overly impressive as it is. I, I think it is. Uh, this is a Barnhart line, black pastel, yellow belly, 100% hent clown female. And uh, if you haven't seen the Barnhart line, black pastel, I highly recommend looking them up and checking them out. They're just, they have a little bit of a unique look to them. And especially when it comes to clown, uh, they make some really killer black pastel clowns, black pastel yellow belly clowns. I'll be putting a fire clown male to this one. So hopefully we can get fire in there too. And uh, yeah, so definitely check out Barnhart line, Tom Barnhart's line of black pastel clowns, black pastel yellow belly clowns. Really some good looking stuff. This was the last female he had available for the year. That's the paperwork. That's the girl. Heat tight. She feels she's got a little bit of size to her. Maybe 300 grams. Okay, new zip ties on this girl, new strings. Okay, I'm surprised none of these have been in shed. <clears throat> She looks fantastic. Really got some nice oranges in there. I hope the camera picks it up. But just some really nice oranges, really dark. You can just tell that this line is different than a regular black pastel. And that's why I really wanted to hold out for uh, a Barnhart line. I think this, just this snake as it is. Again, you hear black pastel, yellow belly, and you know your mind doesn't think of a really pretty snake, but just a, this snake by itself, even without the clown, such a pretty snake. Super excited about this girl. Again, we'll be putting fire clown to her. Um, and I wanted a hep just because, you know, I, everybody wants to get full visuals but i think just to add fire into this alone would make some really pretty snakes and then of course they'll all be 100 percent hit for clowns so super excited about this girl probably my favorite of the three very very pretty snake okay all right that's all the ball pythons uh let's get into the geckos so I do the ball pythons. My girlfriend is the geckos, and uh, I know she's just excited to see this. Um, so yeah, let's get this going for her. Okay, time to get into the geckos. Uh, first up, this is uh, from Boreal's Anonymous. This will be a Pine Island Chewy, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes, female Pine Island Chihua. Uh, again, I'm the ball python guy, and my girlfriend is the geckos. So, if I mess something up, it's not my fault. Okay, again, this should be the chewy. Boreal's Anonymous. All right, let's check this girl out. Oh, beautiful. Very pretty. 
I don't know. I, I would assume she's fired up. Again, I don't know a whole lot about all the geckos. I know she's really pretty, really awesome. And we're going to go ahead and put her in the setup that my girlfriend gave me for before I get in trouble and lose it. All right, time for the next box. This is the last box. We should have three geckos in here. Uh, we should have two gargoyles and a cresty. Yeah, two blotch gargoyles and one tricolor cresty. All right, so let's give these guys a look. Okay. Oh, uh, these are from Rack House. Uh, again, I'm a ball python guy, but this guy has some incredible looking geckos. Um, I've got one from him myself just because he makes some pretty stuff. All right, so right on top in shed, of course. Nice, big, chunky. I don't know. She didn't tell me if these are males or females. But he's in shed. Let's get him out and take a look. This is a nice big guy. Oh, yeah, it sucks he's in shed. I think he's... <laughs> it's like he's got a mask and a cape on. Big guy. Yeah, this looks like a male. This shed is definitely coming off. Maybe we can get you an updated video once it does. I don't want to fool with him. I'm sure that's he's that's going to be lunch later. But yeah, really pretty guy. What a chunkster. Or female. I don't know. But uh, I can't tell. Beautiful guy. I'm going to go ahead and put him in his enclosure. And what a pretty, pretty gecko. It's a shame we can only see from the top. I should take the take the GoPro off. Yeah, what a healthy looking gecko. Okay, we're gonna put him up and we'll get to the next two. Okay, next gecko. We'll save the Cresty for last. We'll stick with the Gargs. Another Gargoyle. Looks like a female. Come on, girl. Peed on me. Another pretty, pretty, pretty girl. Chunky. Everything from Rack House is just in the best health and condition. Everything always looks so good. And he's got some of the prettiest geckos out there. So give Rack House a check, a look. I'm gonna put this guy up. Don't wanna lose it. Pretty gecko. Okay, last gecko. This is a Cresty. So recently she just got into the Cresties. Um, really has been big into the gargoyles and then the chewies. And we have one lychee. And just uh, really just getting into the Cresties now. But this guy here is a pretty guy. I, I, this is a tricolor. Uh, I think he's, I don't know, fired up, fired down. Oh, wow. Really pretty male. Big guy. Big healthy dude. Stunner. I think she's going to be really happy with all these geckos. Really chill. Oh. All right. So that's it. I'm going to pack this guy up, put him in his enclosure, and uh, that'll be it for this first video. And um, this won't be the last unboxing for sure, so maybe we'll keep trying it. All right, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching.